Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use cell validation to restrict data entry within selected cells to a limited range of values. To use cell validation, first select the cell or cell range upon which you wish to place data entry restrictions. Next, click the Data Validation button that is shown within the Data Tools button group on the Data tab within the ribbon. In the Data Validation dialog box that opens, there are three tabs, Settings, Input Message, and Error Alert. You click the Settings tab to set the range of allowable values for the selected cell or cells. You use the Allow drop-down to select a restriction criteria. You can select Whole Number or Decimal to restrict the cell entry to values within a specified limit. Then you would use the Data drop-down to select a comparison criteria. You then specify the value or values within which the data entry will be allowed. You can select the List choice from the Allow drop-down to restrict data entry in the selected cells to a list of cell values that are shown within the worksheet. You would then click the Collapse dialog box button at the right end of the Source text box to collapse the data validation dialog box down to a single line. Then click and drag over the cells that you want to use as the list of values from which the user can select. The list that you select must be on the same worksheet as the cells to which you are applying the cell validation. Then click the Expand dialog box button at the right end of the text box to expand the dialog box again. To the right of the da Data Validation dialog box, you can check the In Cell drop-down checkbox to set the cell's data entry method to be a drop-down list from which the user can select a displayed choice. Note that you can select date or time from the Allow drop-down to restrict data entry in the selected cell or cell range to dates and times that you specify. Then use the Data drop-down to select a comparison operator for your criteria. Then use the Start Date or Start Time and, if needed, the End Date or End Time text boxes to set the date or time range by which you wish to restrict data entry. You can select Text Length from the Allow drop-down to restrict the length of text entries in cells. Once again, you would use the Data drop-down to select a comparison operator, and then use the Minimum and or the Maximum text boxes to set the upper and lower limits of the text length for data entry. You can choose Custom from the Allow drop-down to enter a logical formula or select a logical formula cell within the formula text box. A logical formula has to evaluate to either true or false, and this indicates whether or not to allow data entry within the cell. After selecting what data to allow on the Settings tab, note that you can check or uncheck the Ignore Blank checkbox for most selections. To allow null or empty cells as being a valid data entry, you would need to check this box. To disallow blank cells as being valid entries, clear the check from the box. Note that if you have a reference to a range with a blank cell in it for the allowed values of the cell, then checking the Ignore Blank checkbox will allow any cell value to be entered into the cell as valid data. Next, click the Input Message tab in the Data Validation dialog box. Here you can set an option message to display when the cell is selected for data entry. You have to check the Show Input Message When Cell is Selected checkbox. Then you can type a title for the message box that will appear when the user selects this cell into the title text box. Then type the message that you want the user to see into the Input Message text box. When the user clicks onto this cell in the worksheet, they'll see a cell comment appear next to the cell. 
they can click and drag the message box to a different location in the worksheet if they find that it's in the way when they select the cell for data entry. You can click the Error Alert tab to set how Excel will respond to invalid data entry in the cell. Make sure that the Show Error Alert After Invalid Data is Entered checkbox is checked in order to enable this feature. Then use the Style drop-down to set the icon that will appear in the Error dialog box. You'll see the icon shown below the Style drop-down. Then type the title for the error message box into the title text box. Then type the text of your error message into the error message text box. Once you've set the data validation that you want to apply to the currently selected cells in the worksheet, click the OK button to apply the data validation. When you apply data validation on cells that have pre-existing values already entered, the existing values will not be checked against the new cell validation rules. So you can have data that breaks the validation rules that you have applied. If you want to check to see if there are any cells with invalid data entries, then click the Data Validation drop-down button on the Data Tools button group on the Data tab in the ribbon. Then select the Circle Invalid Data command from the drop-down button's menu of choices. Doing this will circle the invalid entries with a red circle within the worksheet. You can then edit the values of the circled cells. To remove red circles around invalid data, you can click the Data Validation drop-down button on the Data Tools button group within the Data tab of the ribbon, and then select the Clear Validation Circles command to remove them. If you want to edit the restrictions placed on a cell through cell validation, select the cell that you want to edit, and then click the Data Validation button, once again shown in the Data Tools button group on the Data tab in the ribbon. This will launch the Data Validation dialog box again, where you can change the settings as desired. If you change one cell of several cells that have the same cell validation rule applied, you can check the Apply These Changes to All Other Cells with the Same Settings checkbox at the bottom of the Settings tab within the Data Validation dialog box, and then click the OK button to apply the change not only to the selected cell, but also to all other cells in the worksheet that have the same data validation settings applied. To clear cell validation after applying it to a cell or all cells in the worksheet, select the cell or cells from which you want to remove the data validation. Then click the Data Validation button that's shown in the Data Tools button group on the Data tab in the ribbon, and then click the Clear All button in the lower left corner of the Data Validation dialog box to remove all cell validation settings from the selected cells. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.